Yo, what's cracking everybody? So what I want to talk about today is how to get what you want. I see a lot of people out there who clearly have no idea how to get what they want because they are running in the opposite direction of their dreams and they don't even realize. Um, and I just want to share some of the things that I believe work very well regarding how to use energy, use your mindset, use the law of attraction to get what you want. And it works, <laughs> which is epic. So here are my top four tips to help you get exactly what you want. Tip number one, if you see something that you want, let's say somebody else has it, it's all about your perspective in that moment, how you choose to respond to that. If your response is, oh, why don't I have that? I wish I had that. Why does that person have that? And instead of trying to uh, be stoked for that person, Instead, you try to cut them down. They don't deserve that. They shouldn't have that. Um, I deserve that more. All that is bad vibes, bad energy, bad frequency, and you are just pushing it further and further away because when you look at it, you're giving bad vibes. A much better approach that actually will work is seeing something that you like, See, even if somebody else has it, and instead of feeling jealous or envious, thinking, wow, good on you, mate. I love what you've done there. I love what you've got there. That is amazing. So happy for you. God, good for you. Just all good vibes, right? Um, I would love that for myself. And I'm sure I'll have it one day. Okay? That's number one. Be stoked about the things that you want but don't have. So, let's move on. Number two. You've got to be grateful for what you already have. No matter what it is, no matter who you are, you've got certain things you can be grateful for. You could probably write a long, long, long list. And in fact, even in just this day, whatever day you're watching this, I'm sure you could find a long list of things to be grateful for that you possibly didn't spend very much time being grateful for in the moment. Many things may have happened to you and you kind of, like I do this as well, that's why I'm saying it. You just... It happens, but you don't really give it the gratitude it deserves. You just sort of feel like, yeah, I expect it. I was entitled to it, that kind of thing. But if you actually stop throughout your day sometimes and be like, man, so much good has happened today. What an amazing day. I got this, I got that, this happened. I wasn't expecting that. That went way better than I was expecting. This wasn't nowhere near as bad as I was expecting. And there was a lot of good that came out of it. All that kind of thing is going to Put an energy out there that you are a very grateful person and um, you appreciate the things you get. And that's a very good vibe to be on. I learned a long time ago that gratitude is second only to love. And yeah, number three. Um, what was it number three gonna be again? Oh yeah, visualize what it is that you want and that you already have it. So it's like you're putting yourself in the future, a future where what you want exists. You can do it as like a meditation practice, you can just do it briefly throughout your day, but you've got to be clear what you actually do want in life, what your goals are, what you want to achieve, and then imagine those scenarios playing out, you know, or imagine you receiving these things or just having the things that you want. And in those moments, don't let a trace of despair come that, oh, yeah, I want that, but I don't have it. Let all that go. That is not what this practice is about. The exercise is yourself there smile just feel what it would feel like as much as possible to have that reality and just be so grateful as if you've already received it very very powerful technique um, is there anything else I want to say about that nah just make that a practice to so that you know what you want um, number four what was number four I was just thinking about this out in the ocean because it's very impromptu uh, oh, I remember. Be a good moral person. You should be somebody who deserves to get what you want. If you do shit things, then why would you expect to get all the things that you desire in life? You don't deserve it. But if you can be a very good moral person, and what I mean by that is as you learn more, because nobody's perfect, but as you learn more, you do better. So when you know better, you do better. And you continue growing, evolving, being a good person, becoming more kind, more generous, more giving, um, 
including more in your circle of compassion, including more, more humans, more other earthlings, all earthlings preferably. In fact, if you're not vegan, that should be one of the first things you do to become a, that should be the first thing you do to become a good moral person. Uh, most 100% definitely you should stop funding the animal holocaust and eating the corpses of holocaust victims. That is very, very bad, bad vibes. Um, and on top of that, whatever you can, like there's a really good Buddha quote that I heard a long time ago and it is, if you knew, this is from the Buddha apparently, if you knew what I know about giving, you would never leave another meal go unshared, something like that. Meaning, if you knew how powerful it was to just give, give freely and give more, and, and that can be with your assets, with your time, with your energy, with your knowledge, whatever it is, but just in a, uh, an, a mindset of giving and giving and not expecting anything in return, you know, that's just another thing you can do to be a good moral person. I think that's about it, actually. Um, I'm pretty happy with those four. If you just wanna add anything to my list of four, then please feel free to do so. But um, that is definitely the recipe, I would say, to get you on a good path of putting things out there and starting to see it return to you. So yeah, I hope that you all get everything that you deserve and that all your wishes come true and that you become the best moral person that you can possibly be. And that's it from me. Peace.